All right, so how's it going, guys? So today I was going to review for you guys this uh, this jerk bait right here and see if a twenty dollar jerk bait is worth the price tag. Now I know there's a lot of views on these uh, reviews on these mega bass jerk baits right here, the Visions and the Lucky Craft Slender Pointers and the Yuzuris, because they're all you know really popular. But this is a model of Lucky Craft I've actually never seen too many videos on. Um, it's a very cool model. It uh, slow floats. Which is good for here because the bass uh, tend to not hit stuff that sinks very fast. So this it's kind of kind of a chartreuse shad color. Really cool jerk bait. Um, I took a jerk bait similar to this one out to the pond yesterday. Ended up catching an 11 pound catfish. You can see my thumb right there on it. You're not gonna be able to see because it won't focus. There we go. I bit up both my thumbs and my thumbs are just really torn up. Uh, I did catch a couple of bass, uh, which is pretty good. I was only there for a little bit. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see if this jerk bait is worth the price tag. You know, actually, hold on, before I get into that. That's sick. This jerk bait right here, this is $16. And it's a real suspending jerk bait. And this is one of their more popular colors. Uh, sometimes colors can make a difference in the price tag. Like the, I know the ghost mini, minnow in every color is about $5 more. Which uh, is what the color I was, I was using yesterday because it resembles the bait fish around here. But besides that fact, this jerk bait right here, the Mega Bass Division 110 Junior, runs for about 25 bucks. 16 right here, 10, 20. Now, what makes a big difference between these two? I don't know. We're going to find out today, so stay tuned. I will be going up to uh, Northern Illinois for a couple of days. Oh, 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 okay. All right, well, I was just, I was reeling that in. All right, well, here is this guy. Not a very big fish at all for this lake. Um, uh, got the black spot in his tail, which is pretty cool. On the jerk bait, so I guess, uh, He was wanting a moving bait. All right, guys, hooked up to him. To him. Heavy fighter here. It's working out a lot faster. That's not a bad one, right? That's not a bad fish at all. These things do have really sticky hooks. It's not a bad fish right there. Might go pretty chunky. Might go a pound and three quarters. Probably a pound and three quarters. Another little black spot on him. Feeding off the bottom. See his mouth. Not a bad fish right there. From the vine beings, but for the time being, I'm on the highway, steady steering. Shift up like I'm looking at my keyboard, curtail my cussing control, F for keywords. 
False fate, fall straight into failure Face first, forward, money is my savior Lamb to the slaughter, slave to the dollar Scared to see your bars, but dream of having spotters This ain't even half of me, mind is full capacity Started as a canvas, but I ended as a masterpiece Mastery, all the hours spent practicing Every second in the lab spent tampering It's temptation, the devil's procrastination Every single day I spend all of my time waiting For a better day, but it never came Went to school a scholar, left a renegade My thoughts washed out, it's a everglade All I need is some excuses to celebrate Try my thoughts like I hold them in the deep end Stone till I'm stupid Thoughts in the sea That's a big fish That is a stud That is a nice fish That is a toad of a bass That's well, that's about a four. That is a stud right there. About a four, has a really fat belly on her. Here's that fish I just caught right there. About a four, has a really fat belly on her. Really thick fish. Uh, I gotta toss her back in the water now. There she goes. Another one, guys. This one is a fighter, too. This one might be a little bit of size behind it. Or not, nah, it's just fighting real. Look at that thing, that thing it's putting its head up. Look at that thing fight, man. It's put, that is an aggressive fish. Look, that's a fat fish, too. Really tiny mouth. Look at how fat that fish is, though. All these fish are really chunky in here. Might go a pound and a quarter, maybe two. These big hooks in the end of these, uh, Jerk baits, that's, that's why you gotta pay up for them, man. You don't wanna have those itty bitty hooks that bend out and you get two or three. Is that fish? Look at how fat that thing is. That is one fat fish. Alright, well, let's toss this guy back in the water. Gotta toss him out because it's really shallow right here. Alright guys, so you guys just saw that, some clips of this jerkbait, um, and what I've noticed as I've been, you know, like, looking at this jerkbait, as when it goes, like, if, when it tilts backwards, the, uh, I don't know what you call them, rattles, or weights, go back with it. So that means when you cast this jerkbait, it's gonna fly this way, and it's gonna stay in, like, a missile position, kinda like this, and when it hits the water, it'll straighten out. That's cause these, uh, these weights right here fly to the back. Which gives it a more aerodynamic, I guess, casting. Longer casting distance. If you guys, you know, use these Rapala X wraps like I have right here, um, those tend to just kind of twirl in the air. Uh, with these, they just cast straight, like this, which gives you a longer casting distance and more accurate cast. Alright, guys, so we just got back from the uh, pond. It started to get really windy outside. It's kind of up and down ones right now. Uh, kind of in between breaks, I'm trying to talk here, but this. This jerk bait performed really well for its price point. Uh, I think it's I think it's worth twenty dollars in my opinion. The way how it slowly floats like that, not many jerk baits. Well, a lot of times when they say suspending, they slowly sink, but this one slowly floats. I think it's like I, I was looking at it. It was about a foot every seven seconds, which is really slow. Um, these big beefy hooks on it, two hooks, so it's not overwhelming. You won't have like nine trebles on a fish. Uh, two hooks is probably all you want on jerkbait like this. Really thick bill, really sturdy, really hardy build. Uh, it's not gonna break if you hit it up against a rock or smack it against the water a couple times and like some of the cheaper or some of the more expensive jerkbaits. Um, so they make these in a ton of colors. There's a uh, ghost, there's probably all over like 50 colors that make these in. This is a really nice jerkbait for the price point. Ended up catching a decent amount of fish and a couple of decent fish with it. Um, so yeah, if you guys are looking for like a good jerkbait for bigger fish, 
in uh, murkier or just any water, I'd recommend picking up one of these. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.